PSVR enthusiasts, game cats, people just watching YouTube again, to Mind Labyrinth VR. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Um, so today, uh, Mind Labyrinth by Frost Earth Studios has gone and released an update yet again for Mind Labyrinth VR Dreams. Kipsu. Um, and I'm going to be taking a look at it. Guru. What's up, guys? Going to be checking this out real quick. So one of my complaints in the first one, let me actually let me back up a little bit. Let me go ahead and start with this game was actually one of my most anticipated games shown from E3 2018. And I'm a little disappointed to report that it didn't exactly live up to the expectations that I had. You know, for something that's an experience, um, hey Wolfen, how's it going? For something that's an experience, you really need to, if you're not going to be a game, you need to really have like the, the really good graphics and all the different areas. Oh, I know, tomorrow man, tomorrow, just you wait, we got a special treat for you guys. Um, that being said though, um, this game still, as far as the non-game apps goes, this is one of the better experiences you can get. Um, I'm not crazy about the price point. Um, I will definitely be joining you later in the day for sure. Uh, I'll, I might be around. Um, but you know, we, we don't have a lot of these experiences and I think they're a good idea, but they haven't fully developed them and perfected them yet. What this game does have is a great soundtrack and some cool areas and lots of little things to do. There is like a little bit of a scavenger hunt. Um, that's pretty fun to do. Hey, what's up, Breath Mania? Um, so what they've gone and done is they've first of all added smooth turning, which is an absolute must for, for us, for sure. Um, and I think they've added a little bit more They've, they've definitely polished the graphics up a little bit. Cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, stay in school though. Finish your school first. Get your education. Because uh, then when you grow up, you can uh, afford all the VR games you want. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they have updated the graphics, which uh, was sorely needed. The graphics were really bad in this. And now, there's my friend the whale. So the next thing they're going to need to do is add hands. Which, uh, yeah, man, um, they're going to need to add in some hands, but I really like this kind of stuff here. If one looks into the eyes of an animal, all the philo philosophical systems of the world collapse. Luigi Prandello. Well, what's up, man? We are just relaxing in the mind labyrinth. This is the adventure. <laughs> You know, it's funny that you say that, Will, because I was thinking kind of the same thing. Um, this might edge it out soundtrack-wise, like the complete list of songs, but that's about it. As an experience and everything, Tetris is definitely uh, incredible, it's, and it's a game. <laughs> nice Power Man 5000 reference there, to the viewers. Um, <laughs> this is what it is like. So let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to relax. I'm going to lower my voice a little bit. We're going to enjoy this game a little bit. There is only one good knowledge and one evil ignorance. Socrates. So the fact that there's a floating whale in here is pretty cool. Um, my first experience with floating whales in VR games was uh, a little distracting. This one's not as imposing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the main menu of Herocade, uh, <laughs> there's a giant floating whale that has like an island on its back and it's making horrible noises. <laughs> yeah, man, I like Rob Zombie too. That's his older brother. Um, but yeah, this is really, uh, this looks really cool. This is kind of a, a, like I said, it's definitely an experience. What makes this game good is being able to just sit down and relax and kind of just hang out and think. 
Um, and I, I like the idea of it. Now, it needs to be executed a little bit better. Um, I do love, like, the little uh, bird head in the ground. <laughs> See, stuff like that is uh, going to kill the immersion, kill the moment. And it needs to take full advantage of that. I mean, you guys aren't even perching on anything. Like, you're just levitating. And that bird just flew out of a rock. And it's little things like this. Um, while Mind Labyrinth does some really cool things, it's little things like this that, you know, it needs to perfect. <laughs> um, to really, you know... Oh my god, did I really just see that happen? Oh man. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. You know, the second you want to enjoy something, that kind of happens. But, credit to some of the design here. Some of these levels look really cool. <laughs> Rockfish. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, Juice? But, uh, you know, if you're not going to be a game, then you need to be, like, very polished, really something, some eye candy. The music is incredible. That, I will not take away from it at all. Music is definitely my favorite part. Some of the areas, we're going to get a look at another one. Oh, we got another quote thing here. Uh, the other good thing about this game is if you're a trophy hunter, it's got like the easiest platinum in the world. <laughs> we can judge a man's heart by his treatment of animals. Emmanuel Kant. I was nice to you. I was nice to you, right? I was. You saw it. It's, it's on the record. It's, it's in the YouTube historical archives. Okay, so we're gonna go, let's go check out some more levels. Um, and this is the other problem, is like some, let's see if I can even walk. I can't walk past this, so I have to switch to teleport. Teleport over here, and then switch it back. They did add, uh, like I said, smooth turning. Ah, but that music is really good. It's not often you have a whale hovering over you. And a tree. And a floating rock. Waterfall. Saturn is really close. Okay. Yeah, man, so good. I did turn it up a little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud. And I'm definitely going to try and let the music play a little bit. Um, overall, though, this game does look a lot better. Uh, I will say it still lacks a lot of things. But day one, it was a blurry mess. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Um, and that was no good for this. So we're going to do teleport again and we're just gonna pew 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 is there any other yep there is one hold on let's get this one real quick um i can go to there's not a creepy world that would be amazing though um let's go ahead and get this last one before we leave an open heart is an open mind the dalai lama um there is one that's a little bit eerie which we can uh, absolutely go to it's also really cool but no, I would love, yeah, um, I, I'll go to the, I'll go to one, the darkest one I can think of. Well, there's the cave, of course, which is like straight up dark, uh, cause it's a cave, but it has some cool glowy stuff in it. Um, let's see, darker, darker. There is, so... I suppose this one's kind of cool. There's nothing like gothic 
or horror themed, nothing along those lines. Um, this one's a little darker, but more sci-fi. <laughs> Nick Mila. I know, I know. Hey, this is this is for educational purposes. <laughs> the darkest timeline. This is definitely this is definitely the darkest timeline here. Um, for me, anyways, because anybody knows that I am uh, not the biggest fan of Alien Isolation, and this reminds me of it. But this one is uh, pretty cool. We're gonna explore a little bit. It's so random. Most of the most of the environments are like very nature. <laughs> started repeating and that was a little bit disappointing um, I like that I'm starting to see some new ones because that's part of the fun is exploring and getting these inspirational poster uh, quotes that's the exit so we don't want to go there and each one does have like a secret as well GT, appreciate you, man. You know, like I said, this game is hard to recommend at $25 when you have games that provide bigger, better experiences and their games. Um, that being said, like, you know, as for experiences, as something to relax, it, it does do its job there, which is nice. Um, but it's definitely more of a wait for a big sale kind of deal because um, it $25, the amount you can get is just absurd nowadays. Dream is the infinite shadow of the true. Giovanni Pascoli. I don't even know if that's English. <laughs> So like I said, each level does have like a scavenger hunt kind of thing you can do, um, something to figure out, but the majority of it is just sit and relax, think. It's almost like walking through a painting is what this game tries to do. Um, so let's 
go on to the next one. There is something else that's interesting that we'll take a look at. Um, so, in here, it's funny, there actually is a tutorial for this. In here, it says explore new worlds. You get in here, and there's a coming soon. So I don't know what this is. I typically, anytime see something like this, I take it with a grain of salt um, until you know it's actually released or the game is really successful. But uh, interested to see what ends up happening there. I think they're going to try and add more levels. Um, stuff like this is really cool, though. It's really cool to look at and admire, just like the artwork. It's really bright. This is clearly Reth's lab, um, where he does all of his experiments. Now I see what you've been up to. It's impressive work, my friend. Impressive. The head base. No, it's still still head tracking. There is um decoupled movement. Exactly. See, I I would love. Oh wait. A little bit. Um. There is, there would be, uh, it would be amazing to have uh, like a, a horror theme thing. Whoa, look at all this. This is new. Unless I just missed that last time. So there's a bunch of coming soon stuff. Like I said, with some of these games, I kind of take that with a grain of salt. Um, and at $25, that really needed to be there at the start. Um, but I digress. Let's check out another one. <laughs> the good old high school days. This uh, this would be a game for that, but don't do that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna check out one of my favorite levels actually, because with the graphics update, <laughs> yeah. Um, with the graphics update. It made it hard to appreciate some of the designs, and this was my favorite design level. So I'm interested to see how it looks now. And I'm gonna change the song on this one. I like the song. If you guys hear a song that you really like, feel free to call it out. <laughs> oh yes, damn right it is. Oh yeah, this this was the level, I saw a picture of this level and was like, this is essentially what convinced me to buy this game because I mean, this just looks am amazing. Yeah, the meditation spot, um, which we will go visit. <laughs> no. Yes, it does. Indeed, it does, Will. And you know what's going to happen as soon as it comes out. Um, definitely, you guys be ready. Tomorrow, when, uh, when Crescendo comes out, I'm going to be streaming it. Uh... <laughs> What's up, Liv? Each of us has a pair of wings, but only those who dream learn to fly. No, no idea. Jim Morrison, that's cool. Um, yeah, so they've definitely added. There was definitely no Jim Morrison quotes in here uh, the first time. Who, for those who don't know, is the singer of The Doors. <laughs> um, yes, Liv. Tomorrow is the day. I actually took off work for it too. Because 
I'm crazy. But no, I'm so excited for Crescendo of the Blood Moon, you guys. So excited. I know you you didn't know, and this might be shocking, but I'm very excited. So just like I predicted, the resolution is much better. There's no blur. And uh, it's just, you can appreciate the view now, especially in this level. Some of the other ones are a little bit bland still. Oh man, I hope so. I have no idea though. I don't think so. It's not like an actual release. It's an update. <laughs> well, I will, dude, okay, I'm not going to lie. I just turned to the left. <laughs> yes. No, absolutely. I will carry you all day. I will carry the entire PSVR computer, uh, community. Uh, I, I looked to the left and that thing kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> it's like coming right for me. I'm feeling that one as much. Oh yeah, no, it should be. I wonder if they added. No, Rec Room Dungeons do not mess around. This song I thought was kind of goofy at first, but it actually, when it picks up, it's pretty cool. Well, of course, it's going to sound better with uh, headphones. Nice, nice. Yeah, man, I can't wait. I'm so stoked. Yeah, <laughs> and then you die. Over and over. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. Albert Einstein. You guys feel smarter yet? You feel more enlightened? Is it working? Hello? <laughs> the walk speed is really slow. Which I don't like, but it, it makes more sense. See, they need hands right here. <laughs> no. Is that a, uh, is that a Who Frame Roger Rabbit reference? Oh, there's a way to sprint. Oh, nice, dude. Juice. My man. They did improve the graphics to butterflies. That was actually in the patch notes. Um, no, not in this one, unfortunately. But Brian actually tweeted them on Twitter and mentioned it. And they were like, we're going to, you know, start on that for the next one. Um, so I'm glad he said something because I thought it was obvious. But clearly, we have. To, that's why it's important for us to be vocal and stuff. Be respectful, but be vocal. Sometimes they might not make changes, they might not be aware of it. The most serious aspect of presumption is that it prevents us from improving. Dolly Bob. This area, I'm not gonna lie, I would love an area like this in a game. Like, like Skyrim or something. I would love to be fighting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be fighting stuff and doing stuff in this level. We'll get there. Let's check out the room. Really? Uh, I, I can reach out to them. Um, the secret to multiverse is uh, Starship Trooper gifts. If you want to get to their heart, shoot them, attach a Starship Trooper thing with it, and they'll, they'll hear you out. 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping they still get the end of the year. Yeah, Morrowind, yeah, for sure. Which the Skyrim DLC has. Avatar game, maybe. I mean, you could do something better. Um, but I like, like, yeah, like a world like that for sure. And these do, I think, repeat unless you change them. I wonder if they add new songs. That's kind of what I'm looking for too. So this is weird. This now, now like the fog and stuff like moves in here when I turn my head. Right. Um, you know, I'm, Reth and I have been really excited to play Seeking Dawn. I know we, we haven't heard great things, um, but it hasn't stopped my excitement because I feel like there could be things in that game that I, I would really enjoy. But, you know, I won't know until I play it, so. And 6 out of 10 reviews, when it got like 6 out of 10s mainly, and it had a lot of issues that they fixed, so it may be like a 7 out of 10 now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a couple good things. And we already did the song Space. So, it actually doesn't matter because we're going to go to the next area that I really like. But this one is cool. I wish this would go away. Decepticon, what's up, my dude? Welcome to the mine lab. Yeah, and so I don't think people like the survival stuff either. Um, right, right. Nothing much, man. Checking out this update. Mine Labyrinth looks a little bit better. Still not worth $25, um, in my opinion, unless you just really are craving an experience game. Um, like I said, no offense at saying it's not worth $25, in my opinion, but it's just, you know, it's what I believe. and. Um, definitely patchable. Um, definitely. Uh, all the games, all games are patchable. I mean, that's, that's why we're here right now. So, theme four. I'm going to remember that because I love this song. Um, but, you know, as far as the experiences that we have on, P on PSVR, uh, this is a better one. This is, if it might be the best one, actually. Um, but it's not perfect by any means. At least now it's not completely rough and jagged around the edges. Like, it was so blurry in here before. So blurry. And I was like, really? Like, for an experience thing? Um, okay, this one. You guys might like this one. Move base directional. I think they might have changed the buttons too. It feels like the left move turns left and the right move turns right. Um, this place is pretty cool. So we're gonna go back to theme four. Oh, nice. Hoping no reply to, yeah. This, uh, this level is really cool. Oh, I don't think I saw that. Oh, I see what you mean. See, I I got used to the to the looking, and it goes where you walk. I got used to that in Souls Project. It actually saved my ass a couple times, so I actually don't mind the like if you move where you look and have the turn buttons. Um, which juice? I don't know if you know, but they added smooth turning now, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. So let's explore. I don't know if there's anything back here, so I'm gonna check real quick. I don't think I've been back here. Oh, uh, gotcha. Share your knowledge. It is a way, stupid tree. <laughs> Share your knowledge. It is a way, uh, the delay maybe? I heard it got delayed. Share your knowledge is a, it is a way, to achieve immortality. Oh, I missed that juice. I'm sorry, man. I'll, I'll go back and read that. But yeah, something about contagion. Um, and I know it's looking 
a little iffy in some parts. Um, I watched, what was it? I think it was uh, delayed with no word on release. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, Brian talked about it. On, uh, I think it was this week or something. He mentioned uh, it was supposed to release, and then like they hadn't even started on it, and he was just kind of like, I don't think you know how long it takes to make VR games. <laughs> Okay, let's push forward. This one has a really cool uh, refugee. Refuge. <laughs> Not a refugee. That would be cool though. Just like some guy running across. Yeah, before these looked like really blurry and awful. And now they look pretty cool. <sighs> This game had some really good ideas, man. Really good. Or app, I should say. Adam than a prejudice. Albert Einstein. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I sir. Uh, if you're talking about this, yeah, I did for sure. Um, but it was just hard to get into it when it looked really bad. I still got the platinum on this. It was super easy. Like I said, all you trophy hunters um, definitely want to uh, check this out. Let's see what this is. But trophies aren't even going to matter as much anymore because they're taking away the. Um, they're taking away the, the rewards, the sunny rewards for trophies, and I'm pretty mad about that. Very simple plot. Judge your success by what you had to give up in order to get it. Dalai Lama. Yeah, man. Let's sit here and be sad now. <laughs> no, um, this sounds like Quentin Tarantino music. Um, but yeah, they're getting rid of the, uh, the trophy rewards and, which wasn't really that many to be honest with you, so it's not like a huge deal, but it still sucks because I was, it did make me want to go after trophies more. See, I'd like some hands right here and some arms and, uh, a body. Um, they're doing it, yeah, right, um, they're doing it within, like, the next couple days, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, like, the next couple days, so hurry up, for sure. Is one missing from here? There was another one before. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. This was a really cool one. I am for VR games, for sure. Um, the light control? <sighs> okay. 
We've got this one, which is pretty cool. I have... This is the one that has the fireworks in it. Um, let's see here. Um, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see. What is another good one? This one was okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna go here. It's got some cool secrets in it. This is uh, definitely the biggest level out of all these. It's got a lot to explore here. Try not to become a man of success, but rather a man of value. Albert Einstein. Find, uh, we'll find one of these secrets. This is now turned into a walkthrough. <laughs> Literally. switch this to teleport. We're going to get through this real quick. Doo, doo, doo. Um, it's not over here. Here we go. This structure looks really huge. Your only obligation is to save your dreams. Armidio Madagliani. <laughs> Let's see. Give the ones you love wings to fly, roots to come back, and reasons to stay. Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. Okay. So this is one of the secrets here.
course of nature is the art of God. Edward Young. So you have to get the torch. And then once you have the torch, you come to the exit area. And then back here. Light. I need to see the light. I will show you the light. Oh yeah, you can't. The mind is like a parachute. It only works if you open it. Albert Einstein. I do love the quotes in this. Um, they're pretty sweet. Let's go back to... Light. Let's see. Oh. What's going on here? Stuck. Oh man. Yep, you need to be able to do that while pulling the torch. Okay, you say you need the light, but you won't accept the light. Oh, I think that's the music. I mean, But anyways, you take the torch and you light this, and there's the other trophy. Welcome. Okay, we're gonna ditch this. We'll teleport again. It's good to use that to, uh, if you when you're trophy hunting, you definitely want to use the teleport. Alright guys, um, this has been the update, like I said, overall, you know, they have made several improvements. Yeah, no, for real. I mean, there is some really talented stuff in this, don't get me wrong. Um, right, right. Some, some bigger worlds, some, you know, more details, bigger open areas. Um, if they went all out, you know, after Firewall, after Astrobot, this being focused on just being a, an experience I thought this was gonna be our first like big experience app that we were gonna have that was like just incredible and everything and like I said it didn't really it I did enjoy it don't get me wrong I did enjoy it but for $25 the average consumer is not gonna pay $25 for a uh, an experience yeah no I would love for them to make uh, some maps for uh, different games for sure um, if you are looking for an experience, this is one that you might be interested in, especially when it's on sale. Um, there is some cool stuff. It is a very relaxing game. Like I said, uh, the music is great. The graphics now look good. Um, they're not going to blow your mind, but there's some really cool design stuff, like those twirling uh, fire uh, things and, you know, a couple different things that in this that look pretty cool. Um, but... This has been the 1.02 update. Thank you guys so much for uh, coming in and hanging out for a little bit. I do appreciate you. Stay tuned uh, for tomorrow, definitely, because we're going to be doing some crescendo of the blood moon. Going to fight some monsters. Uh, it's going to be amazing, guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much once again, and I will catch you guys later.